Now, Willie Nelson is one of the most legendary names in all of music, but what's almost as famous as Willie is his bus, or his can of bus, as I like to call it. My first thing is to tell you, I've been chasing you around for three years, trying to get you to do this TV show with me. Really? Yeah, and, and uh, you finally slowed down enough where I got you. <laughs> <laughs> all the years you've been cruising around in this bus, I mean, smoking dope and stuff in some of them old times, like in the 70s, did did you ever get arrested in this damn thing? Oh, I've been arrested in everything I've owned, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that was a stupid question, <laughs> because I just thought to myself, back in the old days, driving through, you know, Alabama and, you know, and Arkansas. Yeah, Alabama, hell, Texas is as bad as well, any of them. Yeah. yeah, but you're from Texas. They probably get, get, got a good out-of-jail-free yeah, card, they'll, no? They'll give me a nice cell. <laughs> I love it, Willie. What an outlaw. So, we're to, been around doing this so damn long. I mean, I'm getting old myself, so, but. I can't tell, you look like you did last time. <laughs> <laughs> I feel pretty good, but I'm, I'm, just for me, it's like I always, uh, people used to always say to me when I was in Van Halen and back in the 70s even, they'd be saying, hey, Sammy, you're 40 now, you know, how long you think you can keep on doing this? It's like you hear that every day. You know? I mean, really. I mean, people would never say that to you now, right? Well, I mean, they say it all the time. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with them, Willie? Do you straighten them out? I mean, well, you I say me? this is my last tour. And, you know, I said <laughs> like the last one. Yeah, the one yeah. Every yeah. time I said, "Oh, this is the last one." How many shows a year are you doing? Well, we I don't know. We uh, 150, 200 days, I guess. So uh, we've been doing that ever since I was this tall. So wow. What do you, how do you get your voice? How does your voice stay? Well, the voice seems to be doing all right, you know. But you don't uh, get hoarse after? Not that much. Not Damn. that much. I, I, you know, I stay pretty active. I, you know, I don't, not as active as I was when I was 20, but I still do, you know, I do ride a bike and run and jog a little bit. And, uh, but I think the best thing for me is working, you know, is getting out there for an hour or whatever. And, using the biggest muscle that I got, which is my lungs. I brought down a bunch of crazy questions here, but you know, I, I, just talking to you is, is an honor in itself. But 
Who's your best friend today in this world today? Oh, probably the old gal back there, you know. Anne Marie, yeah. That's good. That yeah. you gave me the right damn answer. I should say that more often about my wife or brother. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's <laughs> true. You know? Yeah. When everything, everybody else is against you, she's usually there, you know. And uh, you know, tell you what you want to hear. <laughs> How'd you outlive all your old buddies? I wonder that myself. So you didn't do anything different? You weren't no, like the I guy that... No, I keep hearing about them dying every day. You know, there's... We lost Roy Clark a couple of days ago, yeah. you know, and, uh, uh, you know, all these good, good buddies of mine, and uh, I don't know why I'm still here. You know, I haven't done anything extraordinary to stay here. You weren't the guy that said, no, I've had enough. No, I'm going to go home now. You weren't that guy? Not yet, no. <laughs> I know, I've seen you over at Shep's house rolling later than me. I, I see myself leaving before you. I left you and Chris there one year. What do you do with your time off? Well, I don't know. If I'd like to have some, then I'll tell you. Oh, <laughs> shit, you can take it off. I'm, well, I haven't been off. Look at my schedule. I had not been off in a while. And uh, I'm getting ready to get a few days off down here in Texas, and that's cool. And I mean, what do you do? Like, what are you doing all day? I got some horses I'd like to hang out with. and. Uh, Got a golf course down there. If it ever quits raining, we'll go play. I remember you had a golf course a long time. We had that yeah. a long time. Yeah, you play still? No. Yeah. I'm too young. Yeah. <laughs> well, the pro told me to take two weeks off and quit. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about Farm Aid, though. How's uh, that's a. We had a good one a, this year, you know. Yeah. Had a lot of folks showed up. It was a night of sellout, and uh, we raised some money for the farmers out there, and uh, we've been doing it. A whole lot of years. Yeah, now. no, it's honorable. That's it's, you thirty stuck something with it. years, I think. And uh, you would think at one point that our government would be smart enough to take care of our farmers. They're not. But the small family farmer is basically on his own out there. So uh, uh, you know, all of us have been trying to help a little along the way. Yeah, I'm really, really impressed with that whole thing. I played um, Farm Aid Two back in 1984, cool. yeah. five, and. Van Halen, yeah. I joined, it was when I joined Van Halen, but we hadn't announced yet. Well, I announced it on stage at Farm Aid, but I went on there and I said, I had a song called I Can't Drive 55, and I said, here's a song for Champaign, Illinois. Here's a song for all you tractor pulling motherfuckers. And they took, pulled everything off the air, and I felt so bad about that. I've never been invited back, and I talked to Mellencamp about it. You can't it say tractor. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what it was. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> well, Willie finally straightened my ass out on that. I thought it was a motherfucker. <laughs> no, no, that's cool. <laughs> I thought Invite that was funny, back. man. I thought it was great. Well, I'll be happy to come back, you know, and, and, well, and redeem myself come and it'll make on. me feel good because I, I love come that. Come on call. back, yeah. Well, I got it. I, I caused a little trouble, but I guess. Good. But that's you have never caused any trouble, yeah. right, Willie? You've that's never what we do. Trouble. Who's the greatest songwriter ever lived? I don't know. You got to talk about Merle Haggard and then Hank Williams, and uh, and then you start guessing. You got Chris Christopherson and Billy Joe Shaver, uh, you know. And then you start running out of names. I was curious because you, great songwriter yourself, you've written so many different kinds of songs. I mean, you know, you've written them old standard classics and stuff, and then you turn around and write, you know, roll me up and smoke me when I die. <laughs> that's my favorite so far. Well, it's one of my favorites, too, i got to tell you. It's crazy, a, I wrote crazy. Yeah. The original title was Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think it would have been quite the hit, but if you never know, because that melody and the, that phrasing and all that on that song, that's, that's, that's a wonderful song. But what do you think is the best song you ever wrote, Crazy? Oh, I don't know. That's probably yeah, one of them. Patsy yeah. Cline had such a great record on that, and uh, it was like the number one all-time jukebox song for a while. So, yeah, that's one of Nightlife, Funny How Time Slips Away. Yeah, those are standards. To have written a standard to me, you know, as a songwriter, yeah. I'm going, man, I hope I've written a standard. I, you know, <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta live long I'm enough sure to you find have. out. I'm you sure know, you I might, have. might, might have one or two. I know I got a couple of rock standards, but uh, so I'd have this crazy little game that I play, this or that. Now, and this or that. First of all, well, I got to tell you, I'm a nervous fucking wreck sitting here talking. You realize? Good, this. good. You're intimidating. Whether you and you're the sweetest, gentlest looking human being on the planet, but you're intimidating <laughs> the fuck out of me. I just had to get that off my good, chest. Good, good. Now, but so that this or that thing is where now it's my my turn to try to get back at you, Come a bit, on. Willie. So you can't. I don't want to hear you hear you say, well, both of them, or well, how about you know this one or that. It's like you know, just boom, right? You know, just give your gut on you this shit, right? No. Okay. Okay. 
try to get my answers ready. Do you follow your head or your heart? Usually, uh, instincts, whatever that is, wherever that comes from. I would yeah. think. That would be my thing. Austin or Maui? That's a hard one. Oh, it is. Texas or Maui? How about Texas? We'll make it no well, we'll make it so personal. Well, you know, uh, Texas is my home, and there's no place better, you know, in my opinion. Uh, Maui's great. It's a good place to go. It's probably the most desirable spot on the planet right now because everybody in the whole world is headed toward Maui. That's cool, you know. There's plenty of room over. Acoustic or electric? Well, I like an electric acoustical, you know. I like a um, trigger with an amp. Uh, I played that guitar a minute ago. Uh, did you? Oh, cool. man. Cool. It's a good guitar. I, I had goosebumps on my damn arms. <laughs> when I picked it up, it, it, look, they're coming back, and I'm just telling just you. Just thinking about, about it. it. Oh, it's oh, just it's, damn, damn trigger's great. Thank you, my friend. My God pleasure. Bless you. My pleasure, Sam.